but the platform just in case anything like this happens again you can do it by way of paypal patreon uh cash app and also by um the anchor and you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh the teespring store or um the shoe store that is located in the comment section below Come on. Don't touch him. Come on. That's a, that's a, that's a teenager, right? Dude. These people, what you leave down wrong? They're fucking working. And there's a teenager. Come on, man. This is a young idiot. Idiot. Look at that. Fucking idiot. Stupid club. All right. So what we're going to do here, we're going to take it from the clear-cut eyewitness who recorded the actual video, who is Matt Weaver. And this was recorded as of June 30th and I'm going to read the whole post that he laid out for everybody. Edit, I recorded this video. This is a first-hand witness. I have now included a full eye witness account of exactly what happened before and after the video because several people have asked in the comments. Scroll to the bottom of the description to read. And he put an asterisk and he says, violence, strong language, warning. Today at the Arden, North Carolina Walmart, this is what I witnessed. A man screaming at a young employee because he believed his pants were too low. The same man telling the young American to go back to his country. The same man touted his years of service in our country's military as a reason to behave this way, only to have disgraced every one of those years in a matter of minutes. His wife calling this young, hardworking man a thug and yelling at me to stop recording their deplorable behavior. A young man who values his job and gracefully did not physically respond to the grotesque individual. If you don't think discrimination and hatred occur in America today, here's your proof. If you don't think minority populations are victimized, here's your evidence. If you don't think people, especially white men, feel entitled to treat others however they please, here's your video. It's baffling to see right in front of me that a man who has lived three times as much life as this kid and served in what is supposed to be one of the most revered services has far less moral character. I spoke to this young man afterwards. He told me what he thought when the guy told him to go back to his own country. He told me, quote, I'm already there. I helped him build this country. The division and hatred in this country have to stop. The choice is yours every day. Today, I choose to reassure a victim that this was not his fault. It doesn't matter who you are. Nobody should treat someone this way. If we're going to cancel anything, let's cancel hatred, racism, and discrimination. Please share if you are inclined. And here is the firsthand reaccount of Matt Weaver. My friend Clayton and I were walking down one of the aisles at Arden Walmart when we heard some screaming from the aisle over. We couldn't tell what it was until we heard it again. This time someone yelled, go back to your own country. Immediately we ran over to see what was going on and we saw two young employees in front of an older man in a red shirt. That man loudly commented several times how he hated the young employee's pants being low. His wife then said the employee looked like a thug. The man then said to the employee, quote, I took a bullet for this country show some respect the employee attempted to defend himself with a remark as the man was walking away the man started charging back at the employee saying what did you say in an aggressive threatening manner the same scenario happened two or three times before he ran up and shoved the employee it was at this moment i was pulling up my phone the video starts with the man chasing the employee to shove him for what i believe was the third time I want to make it clear that the reason that the man looks off balance at the beginning is because he was chasing the employee. After the video, I told the employee we need to find a manager immediately. Multiple supervisors were notified who then located the store manager. He asked to see my video. Upon showing him, he asked me to send it to him. After doing so, we could hear shouting coming from the front of the store. Dozens of people ran to see what was going on. The man in a red shirt seemed to be heading towards a non-grocery aisle entrance of the store with his wife. Supervisors were instructing customers to stay back for their safety. A loud crash was heard from the entrance as if something was slammed down. After that, we didn't see the man or his wife again. I then had a long talk with the employee 
who was attacked and his co-worker. I reassured him that he did the right thing and that no person gets to treat another human being that way for any reason. All right, so I'm just going to make this very clear for anybody who might be a little bit slow in the back. Uh, Matt Weaver is a young white male who recorded uh, this incident and what took place. And he gave his first hand account of what happened before and what happened after him. He put as much detail as he could possibly put directly in there. So if you talking about you still need more evidence, that's just you trying to find a reason to justify the abuse that you saw um, take place by a white male to uh, a, another, as I'm going to put it as Matt said, to another American, right? So you can you can go in the corner and argue by yourself with that one. So the, the main point that I want to bring up here is that we can clearly see that this young man was honestly doing his job. He wasn't doing anything to antagonize anybody. He didn't mistakenly bump somebody. He didn't call somebody out of their name. He didn't insult. Uh, he didn't do anything that would give any type of justification for why it is that this older white male decided to attack him. Now, the justification that the white male decided to give was the fact that his pants were low. Just because, I, I, I give, don't get me wrong. I understand when people say that they get angry or, you know, disenchanted whatever you want to put it as right when they see a young man's pants hanging low trust me i understand i get it but at no point in time does that give any individual the right to touch somebody else just because their pants are low that young man is not property to you at all but obviously this white man felt so entitled that he had the right in order to put hands on this young man so i'm some people who can correct me if i'm wrong just in case now from what i'm understanding uh the young man is more than likely a part of the spanish-speaking population i'm just going to put it that way due to the fact that people always in the comment section get mad as like oh you know he might be dominican uh he might be this he might be that he might be this i'm like whatever he's a part of the spanish-speaking uh populace i'll just put it as that's as broad as i can basically go without people supernaturally finding some way to, to get angry. He had to literally tell this man, in a, basically, I, I'm already home. I helped you build this country. This young man is working a job in order to more than likely put food on the table, in order to keep his car running, in order to keep lights on, you know, and maybe a variety of other things that he might have going on. He's working in America, working at a store in America, and he's working in order to assist you and to make your life better. And the only thing that you can basically think of doing is trying to assault, well, I'm sorry, not trying to, actually assaulting this young man due to the fact that you didn't like that his pants were hanging low. As I said before, you're not his parent, you're not Jesus, you're not God you do not have any type of right at all on this planet to put hands on this young man or to anybody else and then to, to even add more to the whole fire because his wife decided that she wanted to speak and she called the young man a thug and i'm like how does that work Be due to the fact that okay so his pants are sagging all right that that's basically out of dress code i get you i understand you but for you to use the terminology thug on a young man, from what I can see, I, I didn't see any type of like, let's say I didn't see any guns, right? I didn't see like a, a whole list of tattoos on him. I didn't see any type of face tattoos. I didn't see him trying to posture or walk a certain type of way. This young man is literally working. The only time the young man postured when he wanted to do something is when he took that split second and he thought, he was like, you know what? I can hit this man right now. But he decided against it. You know why? Because nine times out of 10, I'm sorry, 10 times out of 10, even with video evidence, his job, which I'm assuming it, yes, yeah, Walmart, um, they would have fired him. Automatically, they would have fired him and they would not have backed him up. They fired, I've done stories about Walmart and they fired employees for less. 
and I mean less. I'm talking about they fired an employee for helping out um, a person with their groceries, you know, going to their car. Like it, it, it was some crazy mess that they did. So I understand why that young man took a pause and he didn't react initially because he knew that there was going to be consequences. If this is the only job that he has and he has to put food on the table and he got to feed his family, different things like that, he can't, in a sense, afford to jeopardize this because he's not reassured that if he loses this job, that he'll automatically find another one at the same, you know, pay rate and different things like that, that'll be able to, uh, you know, support his family or, you know, whatever it is that he's doing. Like I said, white people, this is when all of all of this stuff like this this is when it falls on you this is when it falls on the white community because we can go all day long back and forth right and people are going to say like oh well you know uh, talk about the, the 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 black community and all the things that's going on there i'm going to talk about in a sense a community that i've been around quite a bit and that i know pretty well because of different things that either i've gone through other people that I know have gone through uh, things that I have seen and you know a whole bunch of other things that's where I'm at right now because you have black people that can work on a variety of different things every black person doesn't need to focus on the same exact issues and the same exact topic right so my reason for stating that is for the fact that nine times out of ten when it comes to stories like this and, and other things you're not going to have a lot of white people that are going to talk about this in their community. You're not going to have a lot of white people that are going to be like, you know what, gosh darn it, uh, we really need to, you know, do something about this. We got a clean house. Uh, we have to stop this from being so prevalent in our communities. We, we live amongst, we have other people that live amongst us, and they're not trying to cause us any harm and different things like that. Gee golly gosh, we got to really get on a horn and, you know, we got to, you know, get word to the community that this is something that, you know, we need to get fixed. That's not realistically what white people are going to sit up and do. And further proof of that is by the fact that uh, Matt Weaver's post has 3.2K, um, you know, just emojis like either like likes or wows or different things like that it has 4.9k comments and it has 7.2k shares that's low that's low that like that's not reaching anybody at all and that also means to me that a lot of people are not sharing this um that happened to come across it the funny thing is when i look at this video and i scroll through some of the comments you had other white men literally justifying the reasoning behind the assault that took place and that's the craziest part you even had a white woman in a video telling them hey leave him alone he's working she literally said that she was like are you bipolar are you crazy and then he turned around as if he was going to try to posture up and get aggressive with her and then he just basically waved it off and continued on you know with his wife or whoever he was with Like I said, this is a person that is very combative. He's used to, in a sense, getting his way through life. And he's gotten into, you know, those older years. And he's like, I'm still the man and I can still do and say whatever it is that I want to say. Obviously not. Because now you're going to have some, a few, that will actually stand up and say something. Like the white woman who was there. She didn't have to sit up and say anything, but she did and you saw the reaction that she got from that white man so like i said before uh white people this is my focus because you guys are the main people that i learned from remember you guys are the main people that teach us when it comes to the black community you're the main ones that teach us in our schools and different things like that so like i said before i had a lot of white teachers And the main thing that they always were, they were honest about history, even when it wasn't even a part of the curriculum or anything like that. And that stayed with me. So because that stayed with me and because also on top of that, I am a black man and I've been born and raised and I'm still currently moving through America as we speak. I'm going to take everything that I've learned from both my parents, those teachers, and I'm going to be as honest as possible from my viewpoint. And if you just so happen to not like it, then you're free to click off and not come back to the platform. So 
So like I said, I'm just letting you know, at the end of the day, this young man, he's doing his job. He's, as uh, Mr. Matt Weaver stated, he is an American. And I'm stating it like that because it's coming directly from a, another white man on the other side who obviously knows wrong is wrong, right is right. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that I listed in the comment section below. And as always, peace, love, and stay tuned.